Hello guys, Chains here and welcome to another video uh, As you can tell by the title, this is going to be a multi-part uh, tutorial video um, I've basically decided to, you know, do it this format because it's my birthday and I'm in a, an half decent mood and basically I'm going to pass it on to you guys maybe you will enjoy this um, get some entertainment and learn from it so yeah, without further ado guys, let's uh, get on with the painting. Okay, okay then guys, let's get this uh, tutorial on the road. So, the first one is going to be Blood and Gore. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to start with a bit of uh, blood theory, shall we call it. <coughs> so, um, what colour is blood? Well, we all know that it's red, but when you're wanting to actually um, push the effect, shall we say, and make it look as if uh, you know there's a lot of blood, then obviously it goes from being a stereotypical red, you know, let's say blood red or something like that, from the Citadel colour range, that is only a representation of a small amount of blood or a very thin layer of blood in real life once you get you know a decent amount let's say um, four drops worth in a concentrated area it goes into a really dark maroon like almost uh, black you know to the naked eye it almost looks black when you get a large amount of blood together so, with that in his, in his psyche, you know, I'm assuming that the majority of the people who are watching this tutorial video has probably seen movies like uh, Saw, um, any other relatively gory movie, you know, your thrillers like uh, Friday the 13th and stuff like that where they're, they're called slasher movies really um, and they're just there to you know give you a fright but stores more of a you know a gore a gore fest movie you'll see that you know there's a lot of blood and it does take you know it does turn that colour so we've all pretty much got what blood looks like fixed in a psyche and now it's about projecting that onto a miniature now believe it or not <laughs> there is not one colour um, from Games Workshop which you can use to really come up with a really good fast go what you're actually going to need to do is go to a company called Tamiya or Tamiya depending on where you're from and you're wanting the clear the clear range if you clear red X27 just take the lid off for you brilliant gold leaf edged the warm leather binding and the pages were pale vellum there you go. Already. Oh, by the way, this stuff smells wonderful. Now, the camera's not really picking it up, but in real life, you know, to the naked eye, this already looks like blood. It's runny. It's extremely glossy. It's very dark. But yeah, let me just get some on my finger in a very thin layer you know you can actually see the pigment it actually looks very much like blood and it feels like blood and it's tacky just like blood so technically speaking this is the perfect perfect material and I'm not the first person to, uh, to basically come up with this technique, you know. 
But unfortunately, if you're going to be using um, you know, a very small amount to paint a, a miniature, unfortunately you're not going to get the very dark, deep, rich colours. So, what you're going to need to do is, I'm using Vallejo Game Colour Inks, and we're using a black ink. Now, um, I haven't really tried this with Citadel's um, Badad Black, and to be honest, I don't think a wash would have the pigment to do it, but have a guess what? We're going to give it a go. So you also might need some Badad Black. But for the techniques, well, for the examples I'm going to show you, I have used the Vallejo game colour. Right, so what can you achieve with this blood, with this uh, Tamiya Clear Red? Well, this is the banner which I tacked on uh, from the previous video. I uh, just tacked on with a very small amount of uh, super glue. If we get right close in there, he sat ill with him, but there was little he could do to change it. The orders came directly it looks from like gore and blood. And we're actually going to be adding to this. Um, that's the reason why I only tacked it on with a small amount of super glue, is because I knew we'd be coming back to this. Uh, with some darker red. All I've done so far on this is use the Tamiya red straight out. I haven't added anything to it. And the same goes for the rest of the model. All this is uh, fresh, unadulterated Tamiya. And it gives you the the look of fresh no blood, the uh, which is what I wanted it to be. I didn't want it to be, uh, was what the in the you know. And like I said, I, I knew I was going to come back to this, but I didn't want to start off with some really dark um, colours. I wanted it to be bright and look fresh. Falling back to the pre-prepared position raised by Helots, Talisar Defense Pioneers. Yeah, you can definitely the get the uh, the shininess. Those engines were proving key to their strategy. Now, and Remus was grateful the Primark had seen fit to demand a permanent presence. This mini on the other hand, which is my um, brand spanking new um, Furioso uh, Venerable Dreadnought. Which the fluff behind it is, it's been you know uh, passed to the Blood Angels from the Flesh Terrors, which is why he's now got two bloody big swords instead of two bloody big fists. But the the gar, the gar on it is the blood red, not the blood red, the Tammy Clear red, with a bit of black. To form hidden valleys, and what I've done is I've then built this up whose floors never saw sunlight. It was terrain to favour the defenders. Once that had dried, well not even when it would dry, um, I went straight back over the top of it with the clear red and you get a very nice gory build up. Now, as you can tell by the melted gun there, this model's not finished. Um, but another medium you could apply the blood with is Yoohoo glue. If you want him to have like strand, strands of blood dripping down off him, then the Yoohoo glue would be absolutely spot on. But for this model, I wanted it to look as if he's waded through like 20 plus. Um, uh, chaos heretics um, and they've just had no hope in hell and he's just butchered them so he's absolutely covered in it which is why I've gone for the dark the dark blood overlaid with the light blood so 
Now that we've had blood theory and examples of what you can basically get with this, let's get on with actually doing it. So, I'm basically going to put the timing into this little lid and then we'll apply it onto the edges of this banner. So, the brushes I'm going to be using is the large brush from Citadel and the large dry brush pardon me, the flat dry brush. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is I'll be applying the blood to the palette using the large brush and then using the large dry brush to a stippling effect. Imposing strict guidelines upon how each warrior and squad operated within the Legion as a whole. It felt strange to devolve command autonomy to a set of predetermined strictures, but if there was anyone who could devise a tactical doctrine to meet sure. any foe and any situation, it was Reboot Gulliman. He saw Sergeant Barker at the steps leading to the fighting platform, listening to the reports from the fourth company scouts. So yeah. Of all the warriors marines, these warriors have almost syrup like rules, but such was the comprehensive nature of their new operation. A very thin layer. The fourth company's irascible head scout, Naron Batiam, was finding it impossible bright red. to find Fort Roy. But we don't want Any that. Yet, Sergeant, asked Reeves. Barker turned and had so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that over here. As well. Using the game colour ink. One drop. Lots of activity around Castra Publius, but no sign yet that they're on their way, said Barker. His hands now ramrod straight at his side, as though he stood on a mix instead of a battlefield. We're not on McCrag, Sergeant, said Remus. No need for such arch formality. Barker nodded. You want to mix it well as well. Standard that way, the you're not getting like um, no a strand see. of just pure That's black. How this mess began, after all. Standards slipped. Won't happen on my watch. Okay. Is that a What's that mixed? The black dust of the Wash the brush off. Azure surface is no, sir, replied Barker, staring at a point over his right shoulder. Here we go. Simply a fact. Load. Tip of the right brush up. If only the war master had been attended by a naysmith like you, then this could all at have the been... the bottom here. I was being serious, Captain, said Barker. So was I, replied Regus, climbing the steps to the ramparts and casting his gaze down the mountains. Barker dutifully followed him and stood at his side, ready to enact whatever order he gave. Though Remus couldn't see them, he knew Death Guard units were probing the lower valleys, seeking the weakness in the Ultramarines' defense line. I'm no engineer, but even I can see we won't hold this wall. Don't be scared to actually get quite a bit on. say that? To the end of the day. the wall too far out. The narrowest part of the valley is behind us. This is supposed to look like thick. Coated. Gore. So yeah. There you go. That's the effect using... The game colour ink and the Tammy Clear Red. Let's clean off my brush now. Move me back out. Put this to one side. Now, we've got this little bit here clear. What I don't understand is why we're letting them. When we should be taking of the, the foulest smelling bad black like ever. Tide, said Remus. If we meet them head on, their strength will sweep us away. Just enough to uh, back, load the brush. Until they are thin and spent. Then we will strike them. This is your plan? No, said Remus. It is our strategy, as decreed by the Primarch's writings. Permission to speak freely, Captain? Asked Barker. Granted. 
Are we really going to play this out, basing our tactics on a book? As you can see, guys. As you can see. I know, and I mean no disrespect by these questions, but can that any book, even one written by is a an epic fail cover every in my book? Eventuality? So, we're about to the answer out. is, can you use bothered black with clear red to get blood? The answer is, guys, no. So, if you are going to do this, get an ink, not a wash. A wash is basically going to dilute the clear red too much and there's not enough pigment. The Death Guard attacked 52 minutes there you later. go. A brutal assault Just keep on layering it up, layering it up, it until you get an effect that you're happy with. If you've put the clear red down first, like I have done here, and the edges you feel are a little bit too dark, or you, you've come too close to the edge, and you feel like you've lost that that freshness. You can you can go back over the top. All it'll do is it'll give it a nice bright gloss over the top, and they'll they'll counteract one another, and it will look absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, guys, that's blood. Oh, kids and guys, the next tutorial is going to be covering pigments via airbrush. Right. Now, <coughs> you've seen this model before. I showed it earlier. Not earlier in this video, but in an earlier, vid earlier one of my videos. It was basically the one model I used as a test piece. As you can tell, it's come out pretty impressively. And this is all because of the airbrush. Ooh, a text message. Ithus, Helica, and Pylus were gone, which left his squad dangerously under strength. But the Primarch's writings have considered such an event. Anyway, moving on. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, yeah. So, what we're going to be doing is this side. As you can tell, no pigment, nothing. <coughs> so, how do we do this? Well, 99% of the people out there that are shown uh, pigments <coughs> have used them dry. Now, obviously, uh, putting a dry pigment into an airbrush and then, you know, blasting it out you're probably not going to get anything but a cloud of pigment so we need to alter that what we're going to be doing is adding deionized water as his, um, as his vehicle shall we say is this is way to transport the pigment to the miniature and obviously water will evaporate leaving the pigment behind in the patterns or dispersal um, coverage that we've uh, we've left it with, then if <coughs> pardon me, then if the coverage is either too strong or not strong enough, you can then go in with a brush or with the airbrush and apply more on takeaway. So here we go. The dust don't. <coughs> the pigment I'm going to be using is Industrial City Dust P039 from MIG. Um, it's very greyish pigment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load the gun up. I'm actually going to show you loading the gun up. And uh, let's get this done. So, compressor going on. <coughs> Where's my water? Water, 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 water! Where are you? Toxic oils and caustic unguents smouldering in the mechanicum sensors. 
It smelled of engine oil mixed with at least a dozen poisonous elements. And though it was still Oh, I'm killing guys, I found it. I found my water. Right, this is my airbrush. Got it off eBay. Uh, relatively cheap. It's an absolute diamond bit of kit. So, got a little dropper bottle here full of pure water, deionized. What we're going to do is one, two, Quite a few drops in. There you go. So you're basically just covering the bottom of the cup. You do not need a lot. Now, semi moist brush. This is the large brush again. Now, the reason I say semi moist is, you know, it's a dry powder. It'll attract yeah, to, to moisture and it's going into water for hell's sake. It doesn't matter, it's going to be watered down. So, load your brush up. Even if Prandium was reduced to a barren, lifeless rock, it was still a world of Ultramar and nowhere trod by Raboot Gulliman would be surrendered without a fight. Coming so soon after the devastation wrought on Karth's son, it seemed to Remus that their worlds were yeah, being there you go, just two brush tips. You're basically wanting it to uh, leave a bit of residue behind. That way, you can watch. Going to... Uh, can you see the pigment drop in there? That's what you're after. You want to be able to see your pigment. That way you've got the right uh, dilution. So. Don't know how loud this is going to be for you guys. But here we go. Surrounding the plotter. Their faces grim and carved from granite were the captains of 14 of the Ultramarines battle companies, together with their lieutenants, senior sergeants, and battle officers, real time strategic data that depicted a world torn apart by war. A world Okay, so I'm about fifth company in six inch away. Let's alter the camera a little bit. They are confirmed, Honoria. World Eaters 3rd, 5th, and 9th are pushing hard at the borders of Zaragoza province. If we don't send in reinforcements, we could lose the entire western flank. Remus circled the bottom of his hand. And there you go, it's that quick. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to keep the airbrush going. I'm going to help evaporate the water. Right. You can see there, or not see. It had worked on Talisar, and Remus had to trust that it would work here. He stepped up to the tactical plotter and took in a vaguely tell that the pigment is he's tightening to to show very bright. At Bardusia, the 19th Company had been all but destroyed, 
and the world eaters have powered the machine now especially the lands, where wild horses had roamed freely and rare flora virtually the in ultramar had again bloomed you see? in glorious bursts of kaleidoscopic color the assembled captains glared at him resentful at sending their brothers to die following all this is a really nice way to uh arcs and lines of blue snaked across the map at random to get pigment or dust onto a vehicle and requisition <clears throat> and make it look as if they've gone through like um an abandoned uh abandoned city which is uh being wrought with uh, battle earlier but that's pretty much it really guys yeah. Order the 25th and the 7th to realign That's pretty much it. Yeah. Like I said, it's possible for you to, uh, you know, be cut off without the with a covering their flag. reasonably Do it. moist brush. You will condemn those warriors to Just pull off what you think is a bit much. I cannot stand by and watch you lose this world and our legion's best and bravest with such insanity. I forgot I'd alter the camera. You can quite easily bring it off and I know what you did on clean it up. There you go. And that's it guys, that is all I have to show you today, uh, yeah, comment, subscribe, like, and I will see you in future videos, bye bye.